Hey guys, Doug Virtual here. Um, in this video, I want to be able to show you my current P3D V5 settings for Hotfix 2. Um, there has been a lot of, um, how can I say it, issues that I've faced recently with running out of virtual RAM since V5 has come out. So I wanted to share with you guys a list of all my settings, how I've got it set based on the current specs of my PC. Now. I'm running um, i9 9900K, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 2070 uh, Super GTX NVIDIA card. As you can see, I'm down on the ground at Heathrow, and I'm currently getting 4.7. I'm using sorry, I'm using 4.7 at 6.6 of virtual RAM. Uh, GTX Super with an i9 9900K, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I will put everything of my PC spec in my description so you can sort of see how close you are to my sort of specs but these are basic based on my system setup um, so obviously please bear in mind that if you're going to use these settings um, in your own sim that uh, bear in mind that you, you might not get the same level of performance as I do um, so yeah so just just I'll just go through from the top I've got FXAA on uh, anti-alias in at eight times MSAA. I've got uh, texture filtering at eight times. Um, I have texture resolution at high. I'm not running a 4K screen, so it doesn't matter. Um, I have V-Sync with triple buff buffering on, with a targeted frame rate of unlimited. I do set my um, sim to 30 FPS, but in, in the video control panel. Um, if you want to know how to do that, then um, I can show you in another video. But that's that's how I have it set to unlimited, but lock it to 30 FPS. Um, in world, you might see this is where you'll see some um, so, some some differences. I've got level of terrain as ultra, tessellation factor as high, mess resolution as uh, 10 meters, text resolution as one. Uh, I've just ticked uh, use high resolution terrain textures. Uh, I've got water level of medium. Now I'm not really that fussed about the tech color the texture of the water and actually in v5 it's not that great anyway i've got user vehicles checked when actually probably i don't need to have that checked and if you have cloud reflections ticked and you're using the fs labs you will notice that with, when it rains you'll get wet inside the cockpit um, special effects are both set to medium uh, on both special effects detail and distance um, scenery complexity to normal auto gen and scenery draw distance is medium auto gen vegetation is normal Auto gen, auto gen building density as dense. I haven't checked dynamic. Um, the weather engine is actually where it starts to get quite interesting. So um, I don't like the look of the sim when you don't have um, the enhanced atmospheric beta off. So I've sacrificed some of the terrain and scenery objects to make sure that I can get a nice sort of cloud textures. And at the end of the day, when you're flying at 38,000 feet, 36,000 feet, you're not really seeing much of the ground, so you don't really need to know what it looks like down there. It's only when you sort of start getting closer that you're obviously then going to notice it. But when you're up in the clouds and in the sky, I prefer to have my, you know, my clouds and my sky textures looking looking great. So I've got my cloud resolution on medium. I could probably turn that up to high, but I don't want that to affect performance too much. Uh, over to lighting. Lighting. I don't use um, HDR lighting. Um, and my dynamic reflections are off. Uh, most things are PBR now, so obviously there's no need for that. Um, with dynamic lighting, uh, landing lights unlimited. Uh, old, the landing lights uh, illuminate on the ground and um, display lens flare. Uh, shadow set to medium and draw distance set to medium. Again, probably could adjust that because I'm not sure that really affects frames too much. But these are just my settings as it stands today on the 31st July 2020. And then I've got the casts as uh, casts as internal vehicles, external vehicles, senior objects, buildings, and clouds, and received internal vehicles, external vehicles, sim objects, vegetation, and buildings. So, guys, these are my settings for uh, P3DV5 Hotfix 2. Um, what I'll do is after the end of this um, little video, I will post some, um, I will add on, sorry, some footage of me flying in the sim um, that I've just done recently. 
and um, I'll also add some um, I'll try and add some sort of static images um, so you can sort of see what it looks like other than this video if you like the video and you want to hit the thumbs up button that'd be great and uh, don't forget to subscribe um, I'll be hopefully doing some more videos that really know when and how and what sort of content but uh, if you guys like these videos then obviously I will share and do some more thanks very much for tuning in guys I'll uh, speak to you later on 